Okay, I think this angle is nice. Hey guys, welcome. It's my second vlog about our immigration plan to China. Remember in the previous video that I had to leave Simeon behind and go boarding by myself? Well, right now I'm in Xiamen. Everything worked out just fine, nothing to worry about. Some of you might have questions about how the situation is with the quarantine hotel in China. I mean, the procedures look kind of complicated and there are not a lot of information out there to explain. Don't worry, I'm gonna explain everything to you today in this video. So step one, not at all complicated, eh? you take two PCR tests with two different labs and not just any labs, they have to be specific labs approved by the Chinese embassy. And after you get the results, you use that to apply for a health code with the embassy, that means you're a Kate board, which I briefly also mentioned in my previous video. Well, after that, you're probably thinking, okay, that's already a lot of work, can we go boarding now? I mean, <laughs> No, you're cute to think that you can just go boarding. Or well, there's still a few other things to do before you actually board a plane. Once you made it to the gate, you will see this board on the desk which has some QR codes you will have to scan and fill in your information online. Once you're done with that, then you will be able to board. And before boarding, there will be some uh, airline staff to check your code to make sure that everything's done properly. Step two, getting a front row seat. Trust me, you really need that. Because after landing, you can't just leave the aircraft directly. You have to wait for the custom to come and declare everybody by batch. That means you're sitting all the way in the back. You will probably have to wait for at least an hour or two or sometimes even longer to leave the aircraft. Hence, you're late for getting your luggage and the chances of getting a shittier hotel is quite high. Now that you got through the customs check, you'll be taken by the airport shuttle bus through a segregated path. What you will be facing right now is quarantine check-in, passport control, PCR test before you get to your luggage. Now we're at step four. Well, it's slightly less important than step five, but uh, it's also very important. Basically, it's the step that determines how good your life is going to be for the next two weeks of quarantine. Unfortunately, you can't exactly choose which hotel you're going to get. Uh, well, that's the sucky part. However, you can try to talk to the staff nicely, asking them what kind of hotel you're going to get, or you have specific requirements. Sometimes they may actually tell you what kind of hotel you're gonna get or at least they will tell you if it's bad or good if you should wait for the next bus. My advice is at least try to get one with food delivery options or where you can shop online and then get packages delivered to the hotel because some hotels won't allow anything coming in. And with food delivery option, oh, your life is gonna get so much better. I mean, you can get all the bubble tea and snacks and all the food that's uh, custom to your dietary preferences. Luckily, the hotel I got allows both food delivery and package delivery. Now that you're in the hotel, they will give you some registration forms to fill in. This is the part you can't be too slow. Now, if you were the last one, people before you might take all the good rooms. The price range for this hotel is around $50 for a regular room and $100 for a suite. Okay, so this is the room. I mean, it gives me the vibe of 2008. It's not the most fancy hotel rooms I've seen among, amongst other quarantine hotels. But I mean, it's not that bad. You get this view of some mountains and greens, so that's not too terrible. Of course, I got a desk where I can do my video editing and do some uh, studying. There's also a television, but I don't think I'm gonna count on it. It looks pretty old. As for amenities, I got 24 bottles of water, some garbage bags, tissues, toilet paper, etc. There's a water boiler, you can probably make some tea. Yep, yeah, there's black tea and green tea they provided with uh, paper cups. And I also got this uh, rack where I can hang my clothes. So it's pretty nice. Okay, let's take a look at the bathroom. Massive mirror and looks pretty clean. Interestingly, there's also a phone right next to the toilet, so that's probably for emergency purposes. That's the first time I've seen one in, uh, in a hotel. I mean, the shower situation is less than ideal. Uh, it looks a little bit nasty. 
I guess I can work with that as long as there's running water and warm water, most importantly. Yeah, I think I'll be okay. Now that you've made this far, the next step is crucial, okay? Step five, stay sane. I know it sounds easy, but in a quarantine hotel, you can't leave the room. Staying here for two weeks, it's very easy for you to go crazy. What I do is I buy a lot of things like getting the laptop, getting a new lens, stuff for workouts. The gist is that you gotta keep yourself entertained. Whatever you do, reading a book, listen to music, dance to music, do whatever it takes. Just try not to do nothing and only lay in bed because that will really drain your soul eventually. It's not good for your body, it's not good for your mental health. Try to stay positive and do the things you really enjoy, keep yourself busy. That's how I made it this far without going crazy. I mean, actually for the past 10 days, it went by really fast. I'm working out and I'm editing videos all the time. I'm watching stuff that I like, like Friends, Netflix, whatever. Oh, by the way, get VPN because uh, I think everybody knows that YouTube, Facebook, those things don't work. Okay, get a VPN that works. A lot of them claim to work, which they don't. I've tested. If you need help, let me know, drop a comment or send me a message. I'm more than happy to help out a friend, okay? So just as that, stay happy, stay positive, and try not to go crazy, okay? I'll see you soon.